in this video we're going to talk about projectile motion so I've got a question with me which is saying a basketball player is standing on the floor 10 meters from the basket as shown in the figure below the height of the basket is 3.05 meters and he shoots the ball at 40 degrees with the horizontal from a height of 2.0 meters part one what is the acceleration of the basket ball at the highest point of its trajectory? But two, at what speed must the player throw the basket ball so that the ball goes through the hoop without striking the backboard? Okay, now when we're talking about projectile motion, we're talking about a motion in two dimensions. Okay, so an object is moving in both X and Y. So if this is the xy plane and then you throw an object. So this object is going to be moving in both x and y. Okay. So now what we need to understand from here is that the moment when the ball reaches at the highest um, maximum height. Okay. So if you throw here, this is the high maximum height. Meaning that at this particular point, at the maximum position the final velocity is zero once the final velocity is zero even the acceleration at that particular point is zero so part a part one is saying what is the acceleration of the basketball at the highest point of its trajectory so it is definitely zero at this point the final velocity is going to be zero so we don't expect to have acceleration so acceleration is going to be also zero okay but 2 is saying at at what speed must the player throw the basket ball so that the ball goes through the, the hoop without striking the backboard. Now, what we need to understand is that we don't know the time. At the same time, we don't know the initial velocity. But we have been given the length, this horizontal distance, the 10 meters, it is the length. And we know that length is given by V initial cos theta okay times t now this time which we're talking about here is going to be the time from this point here all the way to to this point okay so now what we need to understand is that another equation which is going to help us to find uh, the time if we have if we have the displacement we know that it's going to be this the v initial times t plus half g t squared so these two formulas they are going to help us to find the initial velocity at the same time to find the time now we are going to plug in the values let's just put these formulas here so we have um, this then cos theta times t we have the displacement which is just basically the h v initial times t plus half g t squared okay now what we need to understand is that the height the arrow we have the length which is 10 but we don't know the t we don't know the h meaning that we need two equations so now let's plug in the values we start with the first equation the first equation we know that the length is 10 so we are going to have 10 is going to be equal to the v initial we have cos the angle is 40 times the t now the t we don't know the t we also don't know the so we can call this one as equation one let's go to the second equation Okay, now the height is going to be difficult for us to to find the the uh, the vertical height or the vertical displacement. But we know that when this person was throwing the ball, it was two meters from the ground. Okay, it was two meters from the ground, as we can see from there. It was two meters from the ground. We have this. Okay, we have this. It was two meters from the ground, and then we, uh, the ball reached. Uh, list here that was um, 3 meters 3.0 3.05 meters uh, from the ground meaning that we have another vertical displacement which is going to be this part here so if if we are to get the height which is going to be this part here okay meaning that if I do 3.05 minus 2 is going to give me 1.05 that is going to be mine my vertical displacement now so i'm going to say that the second equation is going to be uh the 1.05 is going to be equal to this part here since we're talking about the y 
direction meaning it's going to change it's going to be v initial sign theta because we know that when we have this this is the velocity we should have this is going to be the vx this is going to be the vy so this is our 40 meaning that vx is going to be v cos theta and vy is going to be v sin theta okay so we're not talking about the, the displacement the the motion in y direction meaning that that velocity is we are going to get the y component which is going to be uh, v sin theta okay so we're going to have v sin theta times t plus half since it is going up the value of g is negative 9.8 times t squared so i can just plug in the values there i'm going to say that it's going to be 1.05 it's going to be equal to v initial sine 14 degrees times t plus so here i can put minus it's going to be minus um half times 9.8 is uh, just basically 4.9 t squared okay so now we can call this equation as equation 2 so now we have got two equations okay we have two equations if you can see here we have two equations so what we are going to do is uh in the first equation we are going to solve for t okay so let's just put this here i can get rid of this we are saying that our first equation is 10 is equal to v initial cos c 40 times t the second equation is 10 point is 1.05 sorry it's 1.05 has to be equal to v initial sine 40 degrees times t minus 4.9 t squared so the first equation was supposed to solve for t so let's solve for t we are going to divide both sides by v initial cos 40 even here v initial cos 40 so our t is going to be equal to 10 everything divided by v initial cos 40 so meaning that the second equation this equation where there is t we are going to put since we're talking about the same time where there is t we are going to replace him this part here 10 divided by v initial cos 40 okay so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to put this part here to say t is equal to 10 divided by v cos what cos 40 and then in the second equation where there is a where there is a t we are going to put we are going to replace that so as we can see here we have um 1.05 has to be equal to the v initial sin 14 then where there is t we are supposed to put um 10 divided by v initial cos c 40 then i put minus i have 4.9 and then times where there is t i put 10 divided by v initial cos 40 then i need to square it because t is squared okay so i'm going to come here and say the velocity and this velocity will cancel okay then uh we are going to have if we get our calculator we are going to have um, sine 40 divided by cos 40 so we have sine 40 sine 40 everything divided by cos 40 I'm getting 0 0.839 then this times I need to do times 10 the 10 which you have on top there so I'm getting here I'm getting this I'm getting um, 8 point is 8.39 and then minus that one we're going to have we just need to do it is uh this part here it is 10 divided by v initial cos 40 so we need just to say 10 divided by uh, cos 40 and then after finding the answer we need to square it okay and then down there we're going to have v squared so it's going to be I'm getting 170.4088. Now this I'm going to say times 4.9. The 4.9 which we have outside here. Okay. And then I'm getting 835.00. So I'm getting 8 
835 I'm getting 835 okay then this has to be divided by v initial squared so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this part to the other side so it's going to be 1.05 minus 8 uh, point three nine minus has to be equal to negative eight thirty five divided by v initial squared. Okay, so we can get rid of this. We no longer need this. Now, what we are going to have there is um, we have one point zero five minus eight point three nine. So I'm getting negative seven point three four. It's going to be equal to negative eight. 35 everything divided by v initial squared so now we can cross multiply here we can just say there is one we do this and then we are going to have this is what we are going to have okay we are going to have um negative 7.34 v v initial squared has to be equal to negative 8 35. So negative and negative can go and we can divide both sides by 7.434 7.34 Okay So negative will go and then we are going to have V initial squared is going to be equal to So we have 835 has to be divided by 7.35 I'm getting 11 113.60 then I get the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. I square even here. I'm going to see that my v initial is going to be equal to uh, 10.65 meters per second. Or it is 10.658. You can just say it is just basically 10.66 meters per second. So that is the initial velocity. Okay, so this is how you solve such kind of questions.